Well, it's me again, sitting in my favourite spot. And as promised, I have my list of 20 things I learned at 20. So I'm going to let you know what those things are. There's some really serious ones and there's some really funny ones too. Um, so I hope you enjoy and happy birthday to me. So, number one, Luke Skywalker is gorgeous. Couldn't help but put that one in. Come on, guys. It's me. <laughs> um, number two, a change in scenery is always a good thing. Um, I know that I was getting a little tired towards the end of semester one, and changing to South Campus just really reinvigorated me. Number three, there's always a bigger fish. Um, I That was one of the first quotes or one-liners that I wrote down from The Phantom Menace, which is the first Star Wars movie, chronologically. That's when Anakin Skywalker was a child. Um, and that was said by Qui-Gon to um, Jar Jar Binks and Obi-Wan. That is always bigger fish. Number four, if you don't put effort in and you won't reap the rewards. That was a hard lesson I learned. <laughs> um, I did try my best at management accounting in semester one, but I ended up, you know, having the exam on the same day with my braces and I hadn't studied enough, so I didn't know it very well. And then I failed the mid semester this go around and once I was given the tips to how to, for how to do it, it was like, whoa, this is this is different. And I started putting the effort in and tax I might have failed, but that's because it was back to back as I've explained in the vlog. Um, but yeah, if you don't put the effort in, you won't reap the rewards. Number five, come on, Star Wars is awesome. Number six was learning we grow. I definitely, again, have learned that this semester. I mean, I've been learning all my life, but this year has really set it in stone for me that there's something to learn in everything. And following on from that, it's very similar. Number seven, we learn from our failures. Um, I have Mr. TV to back me up from that, for that one. I said something along those lines on Instagram and he was like yes I totally agree so thanks Mr. TV number eight dentists aren't that bad number nine neither are dogs number ten serving makes you feel good I have been doing some serving in my church you know helping people out welcoming them doing tea and coffee and it's just nice to to make someone feel appreciated. And like when I gave that chocolate to the homeless man, his face lit up and my heart softened. Um, number 11, my writing is terrible. That's not number 11, but I suppose that's number 21 as a bonus. <laughs> um, <laughs> number 11, my primary love language is words of affirmation. I didn't know that about myself until I met my friend Thomas who explained it to me and I read a book about it, did the quiz, and now that I know that, like, I know why I react to certain things certain ways. Uh, number 12, also about my friend Thomas, saying hello can change your life. <laughs> um, number 13, being curious is good most of the time. <laughs> Sometimes it can get you into trouble, but most of the time it's good because you learn stuff. Number 14, I think, laughter is important. I, I've, I've also heard it said that laughter is the best medicine, and I totally agree with that. Um, I think it's so important to find something to laugh at every day, even if it's yourself, which most of the time I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> um... Because it just makes you feel good and 
even if it's just one moment in the day that you're laughing and you're happy, that means a is it it means that it's a successful day. In my eyes at least. Um number fifteen, friends are too. Number sixteen Thomas, you must be a wise man because you taught me a lot of lessons this year. <laughs> um, you can't fight your battles alone. I tried to fight on my own for so long and I found the right support this year with my friends and my psychologist who I've been seeing who, you know, counsels me through stuff but gives me practical tips too and is only too happy to hear that I've made progress. <laughs> Number 17, kind of related, someone cares. Even if it's just one person, even if it's just me, somebody cares. So don't, don't fight on your own. Don't fight silently. Number 18, doing things for you is also good. I often felt selfish even thinking of doing something for myself, but this year, after overhearing a conversation about dentists, I was like, you know what, this year I'm just gonna not let fear stop me, that is my 2018 primary goal, don't let fear get in the way. I started to conquer my fear of dogs and I, you know, I decided that I didn't want to put up with my crooked teeth anymore and I went and got Invisalign. <laughs> and it's improving so drastically that my jaw doesn't look so um, bent under the weight, if you know what I mean. Number 19, of course, don't let fear stop you. And number 20, be yourself. That's so cliche, but I've tried to be, you know, different versions of myself that, people think I, that I think people would like, but truth is, they're like me for me. Just like you guys. So that is my 20 things. I'm impressed with myself that I managed to do it in basically one take with only a couple of errors. Um... I'm really excited about what the year will bring and I just realised that it's not Monday, it's Tuesday so I actually have to get this up today and my birthday is tomorrow but if you're seeing this on Wednesday then it's today so yeah okay on to the next one and I hope you will stay with me for the next year coming